Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energy of love that surrounds you, coming towards you. See what it is that you need to know for your greatest and highest good. If you're a cross watcher here for Cancer, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. Don't force messages. Only take that which resonates as this is collective. Check out other placements or connect with me through email which can be found in the description box if you're interested in a personal reading. What is the energy of love surrounding coming towards cancer and what is it that they need to know for their highest, greatest good? Self-indulgence, focus on self. So I feel that you're not putting the time in that's necessary that you are requiring for your growth and expansion with self-indulgence card. Not today in the reverse is validating that's not current. Your focus, your focus right now is on something outside of yourself. So your guys and your angels are wanting you to put time inward. It's indicating that you need to focus on yourself, your self-worth. Spirit is acknowledging cancer that you need time to heal. Shadow work is required. So it's when you go inward and really face your fears or face some type of um, perception that is affecting your ability to expand or to connect to yourself, to your source, self-appreciation, right? So there is definitely something that you have been avoiding and it could be because of some type of an addiction. So it says codependency, obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. So you're definitely needing to disconnect from something that is keeping you from doing the work so you are in an energy of avoidance now this doesn't have to be you because this is the energy of love that surrounds you coming towards you it could also be anyone that is connecting to you so don't be afraid to flip switch the energies and roles in regards to what's showing up but i do feel that your guides and your angels are validating the fact that you need to put some time inward it's time for you to focus on what it is that you need and what it is that you uh, need to invest in moving forward. So I am going to do a six card spread to clarify deeper into this message for you. Call upon Cancer's team, spirit guides and angels to validate and give a clear message for the energy of love surrounding coming towards the collective. Protect the collective's energy. I call upon my team, my angels, guides, protect my energy do not allow for Jesus any negative attachments what is it that I need to know for the collective so we do have eight of swords energy in the reverse so it is changing perceptions the eight of swords in the upright that represents Gemini energy and it's about feeling trapped now swords is about mental thoughts perceptions conditioning right so feeling trapped in the way that you perceive things feeling trapped in the way that you are perceiving possibly yourself i do feel there's something there's a message for some of you that you are overindulging in something uh, a coping mechanism perhaps some type of uh, an avoidance but the energy is showing up in the reverse so i do feel there's a breaking free um characteristic here there is a freedom in that so just first of all not being afraid to be accountable doing shadow work is something that is necessary in order for you to expand in order for you to reach a higher vibration and i do feel that is achievable because the eight of swords is in the reverse because that's indicating that you are breaking free right so breaking free of you know negative thought patterns um really having to go inward and feel like see what it is that you are avoiding. Bottom of the deck energy, we do have the Knight of Swords. So it is the time. Now is the time for you to start taking initiative and action towards this healing journey that you are meant to be on at this time. It is a changing of perception, a changing of the way that you were taught to see the world or to see yourself because ultimately we have the final say in how we perceive ourselves. And so that's a learning thing that you are experiencing with this Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords is Aquarius and that is just. So that is the current energy surrounding you in regards to the cycle that you are in right now. And it is being validated by justice. There is a balancing of the scales, right? So there's a balance in the way that you are seeing yourself, right? The, the way that you are approaching the reality to some type of situation. Um, and I do feel that's something that you have been avoiding for a while with that not today in the reverse 
and the addiction and the reversal. There's definitely something you are having to face, some type of reality. There's something that you have been doing to avoid. There's a coping mechanism that you are having to let go of or walk away from um, that is showing up from what I can see. Show me the energy of the challenge that Cancer is facing at this time. In, and it could be like when I ask in regards to love, it's it's valid. Self-love is the most important love of all, right? So this is for those of you that need to know that you are more than good enough and very worthy of this care and time that you are requiring. What is the challenge for cancer at this time? Emperor in the reverse, feeling out of control feeling a lack of support by some masculine. So there could be a masculine energy surrounding you that has not been supportive. Could be a father figure, could be a partner, could be a um, Aries. Emperor is Aries energy, doesn't have to be, but there's definitely indication that your challenge is healing perceptions possibly due to a father figure or a partner that was out of control someone that you know didn't stand up and take responsibility for their actions someone had the um, opportunity to be something but just couldn't fulfill that so i do feel that you are healing something from um, masculine so it could be father wounds right could be some type of abandonment from a partner from a um, divine masculine because the emperor is the divine masculine okay so you could have been dealing with a fire sign that eight of swords energy that represents gemini and then but the bottom of the deck on the challenge is the hermit so it's validating you know it's part of your cycle there are no mistakes here and then and you can see here the feminine is on top of the tower and the tower is when things fall apart because things fall apart when you're ready to see it for what it is and to see something for what it truly is, it's having your own accountability because ultimately you can't control others and you can't control what's happening around you. The only thing that you can control is yourself, how you interact with yourself, how you perceive the situation. So I do feel that is part of your expansion at this time. So just know that you are being validated for being let down by someone, someone that should have protected you did not. And that caused some type of wound within yourself is what I feel. And that is, this is an opportunity for you to do the work. And I do feel that you will be successful in this. You will master this and you will re achieve some type of an enlightenment in regards to this acknowledgement, in regards to doing the work. So you could have released an Aries or a masculine that did not hold up their end of a bargain in regards to some type of contract is what I feel. Show me the energy of the recent past for cancer. Show me the energy of the recent past that's affecting this message. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. That's Taurus energy, earth. So you had to pull your energy back. Seven of pentacles is about investment of time investment of skill right it's tangible things pentacles of are of the earth or of the 3d and then in the reverse so in the recent past i do feel that you took your time back you took you took your energy back from someone that betrayed you i don't know if betray is the right word someone that definitely disappointed you cancer is what i feel you had to pull back your energy seven of pentacles in the reverse the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, so to speak, right? You gave more than you were ever um, getting back. And there's some energy or, or a feeling of lack in that reciprocation, right? Feeling like, you know, there, you, you've spent time feeling, wondering why you weren't enough when it was never about you in that way. So it is about, you know, taking your energy back and investing in something else, King of Swords, in a different perspective. Again, back to the swords, back to the clarity of the mind, right? King of Swords is clarity of mind. So I do feel that you are waking, waking up to the reality that you have control of the perceptions and that a lot of times we were conditioned to see things in a specific way when in fact it is not the reality. We have more control than we realize. And again, it's not about controlling anybody outside of yourself. It's about recognizing the person that you need to control is within yourself. 
and that's all that you are responsible for. King of Swords energy, that represents Libra, and it is a just energy, right? So going inward, doing the work, changing your perceptions, changing your conditioning is going to allow you to release something that isn't serving you any longer, possibly healing some type of abandonment wounds is what I feel. So there's validation for you taking your energy back. And now it's just about where you're going to put your energy now going forward is what I feel. Show me the um, energy that surrounds cancer that they are not aware of in regards to this message. Show me the energy that they are not aware of. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's imbalance. There's a lack of balance. You had to pull back. So we got Six of Pentacles in alignment with Seven of Pentacles both in the reverse, right? So you were definitely giving more to this masculine than ever receiving, without a doubt. And now you're healing something. You are changing your consciousness in regards to the situation and the role that you played, possibly realizing that um, this person could never give you what you needed and what you deserved, Right. And, and this is something you've been avoiding for a while, not wanting to deal with the reality of the situation that you are giving to someone more than you are ever getting back. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is balance. Right. It's it's getting getting and giving equally. But I don't feel that's the case in regards to where you are investing your time and energy. Cancer is what I feel. Bottom of the deck, the chariot. So the chariot is major arcana for guidance from spirit. And in the reverse, it's indicating that you're stagnant at this time. It's time for you to face the reality of the situation. If you are um, using things to numb yourself or you are not allowing yourself, your spirit to do the shadow work, right? The accountability, the embodiment, um, eventually you're going to have to face it because we all have to. And it is part of your expansion. So I feel that's an important message for some of you. Show me who's connecting to cancer and what does cancer need to know about this person that is coming towards them? Who's coming towards cancer and what do they need to know? Page of Pentacles. So Earth Energy, Page of Pentacles, that represents Virgo. You're learning, right? You're learning as you're going. Again, we're, we are um, facing the conditioning of the way we were raised by the energies that are surrounding us, by the relationships from our past. But you're learning what it is to invest in new things, to invest in yourself. So this sh idea of shadow work is scary, but it's necessary. Again, I remind you that the only thing we can control is our thoughts and thoughts of ourselves as um, relative here and it's something that you are working on something that you are learning king of pentacles and spirit is acknowledging cancer that is a good investment for you okay to continue to learn to continue to grow right to continue to be open to seeing things from different perspectives right it's focusing on self your self-worth it is time for you to heal it's time for you to to learn to appreciate who you are and where you've come from what is the outcome of this message for cancer and what does cancer need to know? What is the outcome spirit? Yes, king of pentacles. So in this deck we have all the kings are feminine, masculine energy. So this one's feminine. Um, I do feel, and that's no indication to gender, right? It's just about embodying from this place of nurturing, growing, continue to learn how to nurture yourself, to invest in things that are going to bring tangible return, King of Pentacles energy. I just love that outcome for you. It's it's validating. It's Taurus energy, right? There's a lot of earth. You are becoming more grounded. There is a um, necessity for you to find some type of balance within this investment of time. And I feel that it's time for you to let go of whatever it is you've been avoiding or facing, you know, it's time for you to face it and just know that it is all part of your expansion. It's part of your healing journey, part of you learning how to appreciate and invest in yourself. That's what I have for you today, Cancer. Pretty, pretty heavy message, but beautiful at the same time. I hope this resonates. Please let me know in the comments, like, subscribe if you have not done so, and we'll chat soon. Take care. Bye.